Okay, so I work at the community manager in SL2, uh, which is also a, a maker space at United World College. Okay, so um, basically we uh, today. Okay, this this is something that I put together uh, because I was rather stressed out uh, from work. Okay, uh, sorry. Can I just turn this off somehow? Uh, sorry, I don't know what what, what is doing it. Okay, so um, so during I think around Christmas or something like that, and then I decided to go down to um, Giant and pick up an oven and then build something. Uh. Okay, build, making things uh, distress me. Distress. Okay, so basically this is a, a super. I won't say super lah. I mean, but it's a rather low cost uh, oven. Okay. Um, Okay, this this is my standard slide. So, um, okay, so so um, I've been doing hobby electronic since I was like 10 years old. Uh, so those were the days where you uh, try to solder everything, tape bug everything, and stuff like that. Uh, so after that, then um, when it comes to fabrication, uh, we always want to better, more professional looking uh, circuits and stuff like that. Those are in electronics. I'm, I'm sure you were, you. Were very familiar with that. So um, uh, during then, uh, breadboarding wasn't the most popular solution. Okay, um, but breadboarding is uh, nowadays is very easy uh, uh, and cheap, accessible, easy to use, easy to modify. But it's not permanent. Okay, it's like that. From this year, two wires came out. Okay, because I'm uh, uh, it on breadboard. Okay, so uh, it also take up a lot of space because the breadboard size is actually pretty big compared to a a, a PCB board. Okay, uh, and technically only through hole parts lah, unless you solder your SMD parts into pins and plug it in. Okay, so uh, that's a uh, wire wrapping. Okay, so uh, it's a better, slightly better solution. You can get very neat bots and stuff like that. But then, uh, somehow, wire wrapping seems to be a problem. Nobody wrapping. Okay, so I think it's easy to find out whether the problem was made by how you can get wires and the picking and the wrapping. Okay, so I think it's easy to find out and then after that, then we're going to have to do another thing. Okay, slightly more of a problem, but I'm going to say, okay, Nice, but without a solar bus, it's 
So basically, you take the, the stencil. Okay, um, I stick it on the board because it's actually quite uh, flimsy. So what I'll do is I will place uh, my other PCB board. Okay, to raise it up so that it's flat. Okay, um, the only thing is that I I, I just ha happened a few days before I actually threw away all my old batch of uh, PCB board. Okay, so I use back this same uh, board. Okay, so you. What I do is I'll, I'll put the board. I'll put the board. Uh, yeah, I'll put the board here. Okay, and then after that I put the stencil over it. Uh, am I on the right? Oh, P, uh, wrong, wrong direction. Okay. So that and then I apply the uh, solder paste on. Okay. So. Uh, the solar paste looks uh, like that, as I shown earlier. Okay, something to apply the solar paste. I use a uh, acrylic uh, paint. I don't know what you call this. Okay, and uh, something to wipe it. <laughs> Very useful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, maybe we can just solder. Uh, okay. The most difficult part to solder on that particular board is actually the USB connector. Okay, because of me being a cheapo, I ordered the cheapest uh, USB, micro USB uh, 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 adapter. Okay, and the pin is recessed into under, sort of like under, almost under the, 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 the plug itself. So to, for, you need a very small uh, soldering iron to drag solder the, the thing on. So uh, at, most of the time I will like try two, three times before I get it. So that takes a lot of time. But this one, uh, I, I don't even care, I just dump it in and, and bake it. Okay, so uh, let me find the uh, connector. <coughs> okay, we, we can put on a, a connector. Uh, I have two questions. How is the range of the sensor? Uh, 500. And you end up drilling or how do you set it? Uh, no, I didn't do, do anything. So, so the whole idea is it's low cost. 
Don't I, I I want something that I don't have to. Uh, occasionally, I can still toast my bread or something like that. <laughs> no, 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 joking. Okay, I'm gonna do it e e eventually. Actually, I wanted to do it. I bought uh, RTV uh, silicon and all that. But then Donna say, hey, can you? What do I want to do this? I say, okay. I, if I want to do this, I want to do it raw, so that uh, anybody can just buy an oven and then just uh, plug it in and, and get it to work. Uh, do you still make food in the oven? Uh, <laughs> uh, originally, everybody say, "Hey, don't mix uh, your your reflow oven with food and stuff like that." I actually don't believe any shit of that. I thought it, it's okay because not, I do a lot of soldering and I don't find that it's very smelly. But this stinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get a, can get a, Sorry. Unleaded. Yeah, uh, you can use a uh, low temp unleaded solder uh, if you if you want. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will my sauce with extra <laughs> soda. So, uh, what I what I did is uh, okay. So we have find the optimal temperature. Okay. Temperature control. Uh, temperature control. Is that your like your thing to turn it off and on to resize something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I, I, I do, uh, I do uh, woodworking, so I have a lot of wood at home, so I'll just take one piece and mount all my, my component on it. Yeah, it's a, it, that's a breadboard on it, uh, I mean, I, I don't drill into the uh, wood. Uh. <laughs> okay, so so what? Um, okay, what what happened is that um, I mount everything on the on the board. So this is the main power. Okay, I I, I actually I don't need a single gang, uh, and then most probably I can cut this smaller lah. But then I I I only can find a double gang. Uh. Ah, okay, so uh, anyway, the computer crash. Uh, so we plug it in. Okay, there's an SSR on it. Okay, we plug this onto it. Okay, and let's see whether I can get this up or not. Okay. Okay, the, the sensor is uh it's just kept on tape onto the onto the, the tray. Okay, so uh what you do is I don't I didn't drill a hole, so I just slot it into the middle or upper slot. Okay, and then just close the <laughs> okay. Uh, just close the the door like that. Okay. Uh, it's not optimal. Okay, because you get uh heat leak and stuff like that. But because the oven is so small, so the temperature control is, is very easy to control the, the temperature. Okay, uh, maybe we will just do without the uh, outer. So, so basically, uh, the computer is just to power the Wemos. Okay, the Wemos run a small web server to show the temperature and stuff like that because I, I I'm trying to tune the PID. So if I don't I, I don't know what's the what's the temperature and all that I I don't have a infrared temperature because. I, I just woke up one morning and decided to do this. <laughs> yeah. So what we do? Uh, okay. So with the. Okay. Uh, me being almost blind. Okay. Uh, I need uh, something to look at it. Uh, this one, uh, yeah, you need the lens will will get electrocuted some way. <laughs> no, <laughs> it, it's just uh, I have a lot of all these bags around. I just grab one and okay. So we take some uh, paste. Okay, we put it on the uh, USB port. So this is how the paste look like. Okay. So uh Okay, I, I got this for $15 locally. 
So it's a rip off lah. So, uh, but I, because I was desperate and I I need it. Okay, I have like uh, ten bottles coming from AliExpress. Okay, so you apply the soda paste. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so normally I will put like one whole strip of uh, solid uh, solid paste and then use uh, this nice little cut to to squeegee over lah. Okay, but then now uh, because we are just doing a quick demo. Okay, so when it's done, okay, you have your. Uh, no, I sorry. So if, if you didn't get it right, uh, just wipe it off. <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, but. How do you? How long do you take to initially line up your social? Uh, very fast, lah. <laughs> I'm not that blind, but uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, and at home I have a microphone. So help me. Yeah. Okay. So um. Uh, sorry. Uh, somehow uh, when I do demos, it it it, it didn't work. Okay, this paste that I got is a bit uh, dry. Okay, with my uh, sorry, I cannot find my phone. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, this is like this is like maybe five cents each. Okay, you can it can go up to a few dollars. Uh. So I chose the cheapest one. Okay, so uh, it's very small. Uh, where's my? Okay, so uh, I'll use a pencil. Okay, and then you uh, press down on it. Okay, it's a bit, it's a bit sticky, so you will get stuck on it. Okay, so now we have a USB plug on some sort of paste. We will put it inside here. Okay, it's like cooking show. Okay. <laughs> Okay, give me a minute. Huh? I'll, I'll answer that in a while. Okay, so uh, we'll turn it on. Uh, let's see whether I can get this up or not. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I cannot remember the IP address. Okay, I want you to do this. Because it's a 
Okay, so uh, it will show the temperature. Okay, um, so once we, we keep uh, the switch on, we just press button. So, okay, so it start off with either, uh, actually I accidentally turn it on. So it will start with preheating the, the uh, solder, okay, to about 180 degrees. Then after that, it will start the soap cycle, okay, until hit about eh, 190 or 120. Then after that, it ramp up to about 215. So uh, this will melt at, uh, on 215. So the if you can see, the oven is actually on now. So to save bandwidth, this is a uh, uh, eject pick. So only it only sends back the the actual data information. Yeah. Oh, okay. So 100, 120 soaks. Okay, until it's hundred eighty something. Okay, and then you start to ramp up to uh two one five. Uh, I, I actually buy one with a glass window. I thought I can see, but then actually not uh, very hard to see. Yeah. Okay, so when you hit, uh, it will melt somewhere between 200 to 215. Oh, I also put like uh, bits on every different base. Uh. So uh, somewhere here it should change, the status should change to uh, reflow. So it, this part, it was it actually ran to the repo phase. <laughs> okay. Huh? Just a normal... What? Uh, JLCPC. I know. Element 14. This is my old stock from. Have you bought anything from LCS? Yeah. All the parts are all from LCSC. How's the shipping time? Okay. Three days. What? DHL. Oh, it's expensive. Is it expensive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> SM2 is paid. Because we need it fast. So, uh, Okay, so uh, once it's done, okay, uh, because there's no cooling fan or whatever, so you need to actually open up the door, okay, and then uh, if possible, use something to fan it. Okay. Yeah. So it's also good exercise. Uh. So you fan it until uh, temperature goes down to about uh, 50, 60, then it's actually safe to, uh, to take it out. Okay, so... Uh, how many more times before you're annoyed enough to drill a hole and put it back? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, how do I put a fan that is in a heated environment? And, and yeah, so, yeah, so I need a, a, a hot fan, a fan that can take the temperature uh, and stuff it inside a small oven like that, I, I, I don't think I want to do that. Or you just need a fan that no, just get a water. Robot arm, open the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, 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 okay, what's the next, what's the next phase? The next phase is to build, uh, to firstly, uh, put the SS, SSR into the, the oven because that's space, okay? Because now actually the live wire is exposed, so you get electrocuted if you go and touch it, okay? So uh, that, that's one thing. Okay, second thing is that uh, I want two SSR so I can control the top and the bottom, uh, maybe do some fancy stuff. Maybe uh, brown the top a bit so that it's tastier. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this, this uh, uh, and then after that, the last thing is a servo to open the door. Have you tried doing that inside the circuit? Inside the panel. Behind the timer panel. Behind the timer panel. Behind the timer panel. You do it behind the timer panel. Behind the timer panel. Behind the timer panel. No, nothing. There's nothing at all. It's, there's no circuit in this. In, in I'm planning to. I'm, I'm going to plan, uh, stuff everything into here. Okay, so that uh, it's all in the box. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so basically, it's uh, actually already done. 
Okay, uh, it's actually very nicely uh, reflowed. Maybe you missed one pin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, so. So. So what I'm going to try next is actually to add some uh, flux, liquid flux into into it because I suspect that this is a very old stock. Okay. So the solar paste is very dry. So uh, when it's dry, it don't stick to the board. It, it, it will come up with, together with the sensor. Because it's, it's kicking, uh, it's like a kick, I guess. Yeah, can you see? Yeah, yeah so uh, that concludes my uh, demo. Any other question? Thank you, thank you. Okay, so uh, if, you, if, you, if, if you use very good solder paste, you will not leave uh, residue. This one, you will get some uh, flux residue left on the board itself. So you just clean it with uh, IPA. Or I, I, I prefer acetone, so uh, yeah. So you just clean it with some solvent, it will, uh, it will be okay. Uh, uh, everything is uh, quite cool. Hey, where's my board? Uh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, everything except the true hole part is all done in one pass. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, What's the, what, what did I learn from uh, this whole process? Okay, there's a, a few things that you need to uh, know. Okay, the profile must, although it can be very relaxed, but it also must be quite, uh, there must be a gradual heat, build up of heat and gradual cooling. Although you will be want it to cool as fast as possible, but we still want it. Because uh, not so much of the bot, the bot can take it, it's a, a component. Okay, so the component will get thermal shock and crack if you have it too fast or too slow. Okay, so these are things that uh, I haven't encountered yet, so I haven't uh, need to fix uh, yet. Okay, uh, also there are some uh, time-sensitive uh, parts, like some of your uh, small SMD AVRs got actually, uh, uh, if you open it, you got, to, you got to use it within a certain uh, time period because it absorbs uh, absorb, uh, moisture, and then it will, it will, it, the moisture will actually boil and crack the, the chip. And, and stuff like that. So that's what that's the problem you, you do when uh, you do reflow because the epoxy actually absorbs more heat than the pins because it's black. So it, 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 it gets hotter than the, the pin, slightly hotter than the pin itself. Yeah. So uh, that's that's my uh, learning process. I'm not an uh, expert in this. I'm I, I, I'm just uh, trying out. Okay. I don't mind uh, burning a few boards. Okay, uh, internet, there's a lot of people that use la ladder, uh, rather uh, large iron, uh, uh, iron oven, okay? Uh, and they always scotch the, scotch the board because it's very hard to control the temperature on, uh, in, on a bigger volume. This is just eight liter, I got the smallest one that I can. Okay, because I, uh, cheapo also la, cheapo cheapo. Okay, so okay, uh, then and that's it, yeah. Uh, so so um, I so I need to tune the PID so that this hits about two hundred and uh, usually it's about two two one seven two one five two one seven if you open the door immediately when it goes into the cooling phase. This one I uh, forgotten just now I was talking and I forgotten to turn it so it went up a bit higher. But it's actually pretty. I, I tune the PID to actually get a pretty good uh, uh, result.